Welcome to Factation, the place where facts meet fascination. Today we're embarking on a cosmic journey, tracing the footsteps of humanity from the moon to Mars. Our story begins in the mid-20th century, when the starry expanse of the cosmos ceased to be the exclusive domain of celestial bodies. In 1957, humanity made its first foray into this vast unknown with the launch of Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite by the Soviet Union. This small, beeping sphere marked the dawn of the space age. Only four years later in 1961, the same nation pushed the boundaries even further. They sent the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into orbit around our planet. His journey around the Earth, lasting just under 108 minutes, forever changed our perspective on our place in the universe. This was just the beginning of a new era, an era of space exploration. The space race was heating up and America wasn't far behind with their ambitious Apollo program. As the 1960s rolled by, the world was gripped by a feverish race to the stars. America, eager to stamp its mark on the cosmos, unveiled the Apollo program, a grand initiative aimed at landing a man on the moon. The Apollo missions were a series of audacious journeys that pushed the limits of human ingenuity and courage. They began with Apollo 1, but tragedy struck when a cabin fire during a launch rehearsal test claimed the lives of the crew. This was a sobering moment, a stark reminder of the dangers that lay in reaching for the stars. But from this tragedy emerged a stronger resolve. The Apollo program marched on, learning, improving, and inching closer to its lunar goal. Then in 1969 the world held its breath as Apollo 11, carrying astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, embarked on a historic journey to the moon. The suspense was palpable as Armstrong maneuvered the lunar module, fondly named Eagle, towards the moon's surface. And then, the words that echoed around the world, the Eagle has landed. Humanity had set foot on the moon, Armstrong's iconic first steps and his profound words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, marked a new era in space exploration. The Apollo missions didn't stop there. Six of the missions successfully landed on the moon, and 12 astronauts walked on its surface conducting experiments, collecting lunar samples, and leaving an indelible human imprint on the moon. The Apollo program was much more than a series of missions. It was a testament to human spirit and determination, an embodiment of our innate desire to explore the unknown. It challenged perceptions, broke barriers, and redefined what was possible. The Apollo missions marked a significant milestone, but they were just the start of what was to come. The Apollo legacy continues to inspire, paving the way for future explorations and keeping alive the dream of venturing farther into the cosmos. With the moon landing under our belt it was time to aim for something more sustainable, a home away from home. The late 20th century marked a significant shift in our approach to space exploration. Instead of one-time missions we started focusing on creating permanent structures in space, leading to the development of space shuttles and the establishment of the International Space Station. Space shuttles were the first reusable spacecrafts designed to transport astronauts and cargo to and from Earth's orbit. The maiden flight of Columbia in 1981 marked the beginning of an era where space travel became a somewhat regular occurrence. Over the next three decades these shuttles carried hundreds of astronauts into space, launched dozens of satellites, and contributed to significant scientific research. One of the most impressive feats of the space shuttle program was the launch and repair of the Hubble Space Telescope. Placed in Earth's orbit in 1990, Hubble has provided some of the most detailed images of our universe, transforming our understanding of space. Parallel to the shuttle program, another ambitious project was taking shape, the International Space Station or ISS. The idea of a permanent human presence in space was no longer a figment of science fiction, it was becoming a reality. The first component of the ISS was launched in 1998. It was a joint endeavor of five space agencies representing 15 countries. This massive structure orbits Earth every 90 minutes, serving as a home to astronauts and cosmonauts from around the world. It is not just a space habitat but also a hub for scientific research, where zero gravity conditions allow experiments that would be impossible on Earth. The International Space Station is a symbol of what humanity can achieve when we work together. It represents our shared desire to explore, learn, and push the boundaries of known space. It's a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and exploration. The International Space Station was a testament to global collaboration in space but what about venturing beyond? 
While astronauts continued their work in orbit, robotic explorers were paving the way on Mars. Our journey to Mars began with Sojourner, the first successful Mars rover, embarking on a mission in 1997. This small, microwave-sized robot was a trailblazer proving that we could remotely explore the Red Planet. Sojourner's pioneering journey laid the groundwork for future Mars rovers, each more advanced than the last. Next came, Spirit and Opportunity, twin rovers that landed on Mars in 2004. These rovers were designed for a 90 Martian day mission, but they exceeded all expectations. Spirit explored until 2010, while Opportunity roved until 2018, both uncovering evidence that water once flowed on Mars. Then, in 2012 we sent Curiosity, a car-sized rover packed with scientific instruments. Curiosity's mission? To determine if Mars could have ever supported microbial life. And guess what? It found that it could have. Thanks to Curiosity, we now know that Mars once had the right conditions for life. The latest rover to join the Martian family is Perseverance, which landed in February 2021. Perseverance is not just exploring Mars, it's preparing for future human missions. It's testing a method for producing oxygen from the Martian atmosphere, and it's even carrying a tiny helicopter named Ingenuity. This helicopter is the first device to perform powered flight on another world, opening new possibilities for exploration. Our robotic explorers have taught us so much about Mars. They've shown us that it's a world with a diverse geology and a complex climate, a world that once had flowing water, and a world that could have supported life. These discoveries have brought us closer than ever to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? But we're not stopping there. Plans are already underway for new rovers and one day, human missions. As we look to the future, we're dreaming of a time when astronauts will follow in the tire tracks of our robotic explorers. The rovers have given us invaluable insights into Mars, but can we send humans there? We've set foot on the moon, built a home in space and sent our robots to Mars. So, what's next on the horizon? As we gaze into the cosmos, the red planet Mars gleams back at us, beckoning us to explore its mysteries. Currently, ambitious plans are underway to make this dream a reality. One of the most promising endeavors is NASA's Artemis program. Named after the twin sister of Apollo, Artemis aims to not just return humans to the lunar surface, but to establish a sustainable human presence there. And why is this important for Mars you ask? Well the moon will serve as a proving ground, a place to test technologies and strategies for future Mars missions. It's like the dress rehearsal before the big show. Then there's SpaceX, the brainchild of Elon Musk, who dreams of making life multi-planetary. The star of this grand vision is Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed to carry up to a hundred passengers. SpaceX envisions a future where Starship ferries colonists to Mars, creating a self-sustaining city on the Red Planet. A lofty goal indeed but one that has the potential to change the course of human history. The dream of Mars colonization is not just about exploring new frontiers, it's also about ensuring the survival of our species. As Stephen Hawking once said, we are running out of space, and the only places to go to are other worlds. Mars with its similarities to Earth is the most viable option for our cosmic backup plan, but let's not forget Mars is just the beginning. Beyond Mars lie the outer planets, the Kuiper Belt, and even the Oort Cloud. Each of these celestial bodies holds secrets that could unravel the mysteries of our universe and our place within it. The future of space exploration is bright, with Mars as our next big step. We stand on the threshold of a new era, ready to step into the cosmic ocean. And who knows, maybe one day we'll look up at the night sky from a different planet. Now wouldn't that be something? As we look back on the milestones of space exploration it's clear that the sky is not our limit. From the triumphant Apollo missions that first broke the bonds of Earth, to the space shuttles that carried our dreams and aspirations into the cosmos, each step has been a testament to human ingenuity and bravery. The International Space Station, a beacon of international cooperation, orbits our planet, while Mars rovers explore the Red Planet, paving the way for our future endeavors. The dream of Mars colonization, once the realm of science fiction, is now within our grasp, a testament to our ceaseless ambition to reach beyond. We stand on the precipice of a new era, where the question is no longer if, but when, we will set foot on another planet. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Factation and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up, and keep dreaming big.